Hello friends, as you all probably already know how the magic of the movies, magic of cinema works and you all probably know about predictive programming and you know how to send something for materialization so let's talk about it using this movie as an example War of the Worlds and Actually, a hundred years ago, it was only story. But within hundred years, we all are brainwashed, all people, all over the earth, with this movie. What is this story about? Why Hollywood spending so much time, energy, resources and money and so on? to put this idea into our brains but using subliminal messages send it to subconscious with some idea just put it inside us completely brainwash us with this idea what's so special in this movie? why Gerbert Wells not being an engineer explain everything detail these flexible manipulators these lights insectoids he described everything detail he described electromagnetic AMP he described and detail lasers death rays how he called it he described detailly the very important role of kidnapping, yes, yes. power shields. He was not even engineer. How he could know why blood was so important for our invaders, for aliens, and so on and so on. Why he described everything so detailly and so realistically and why Hollywood spent so much of time for ecranization, for making such movies every 5 or 10 years new sequel new movie about this story but if you not new in my channel, you know that science fiction is documentary. Because probably you have seen my videos about 19th century and you know that uh, a lot of photos proving that destruction, demolitions could not be done by conventional weapons of that time as we know, as we are told. It was something else. You know, melted stones, melted granite, uh, destroyed roofs and so on. And if you are not new in my channel, you know how magic of cinema works. How the, those rituals really work. And how they brainwash us and send everything with our approval for materialization. Why they put happy end in all movies to prevent such event, to prevent such scenario. They want to put another scenario. So let's talk about why this happy end scenario is against them. As you know, conventional weapons of that time is this real cannon, but probably this cannon was using spaghetti to shoot enemies. Because there is no way to explain why we have so many holes in the end of it. And as you know, there are many bunch of, really bunch of photos with strange demolitions. And the only explanation is something like this. Because there is no way demolition could be something like this what I will 
show you. Yes, our weapons were a bit different, but some weapons could selectively destroy only roofs. The only explanation people posing with cannons that they don't know how to use them. Watch my videos about Franco Prussian War, Prussia and France, and independence for in USA and you will understand what I mean and why I'm talking about it. Also you will know why people were hiding in catacombs in Paris because they were afraid of enemy more than they were afraid of cannibalism. They were staying a couple of years underground without going out because they were afraid of enemy more than they were afraid of cannibalism, eating each other. And the only explanation of such destruction everywhere with destruction roofs, windows a and so on from above is that it was done by not gunpowder, small gunpowder of that time. It was some another, I think some kind of energy weapons used to destroy buildings like I showed you. I will try to put links to my videos in description box. So probably they are hiding something. People could remember something. That's why our enemy, sm our smartest genius enemy, using hive mind, hive mind of all Freemasons, connected to the enemy. This enemy trying to hide our real past. Our enemy is trying to persuade us this story about virus helping us attacking our enemies, dangerous only for enemies, for our aliens invaded us in 19th century, is only science fiction. And they made a bunch of videos, especially f in uh, start from 2010 or 11, showing that virus is really dangerous and it's dangerous for people. But I have a solid proof that this virus, any virus now, from now on, is dangerous only for our enemy, only for invaders, only for aliens. But they are trying to persuade, to brainwash us that it's dangerous for people. Epidemia, infection and so on. There are a bunch of videos trying to brainwash us and they use predictive programming to make this coronavirus bullshit bullock we are having right now. This all started long ago and they put this idea in each and every serious science fiction movie like Visitors for example. I will make a, a review of this video Visitors a bit later. But now try to understand this idea. They want this happy end of virus killing them to be disappeared. They won't send it for dematerialization. That's why they put happy end in each and every movie with virus. Virus killing alien is happy end. That's why it will never happen in reality. If you have noticed, if you have good emotions about some picture on the future it looks like you have emotions about result if you imagine everything detail and have emotions it will never happen in real life so that's what they want they use magic to avoid this scenario this bad for them scenario so think about it please Write in comments what do you think about it. Why they use predictive programming and why they use predictive programming this way. Is it real, realistic that something like this invaded us in 19th century? Is it realistic that 
virus really can be dangerous only for our enemies, but not for us. Maybe it's just my weird paranoia. Or maybe it's something else. Maybe dozens of videos like uh, serial visitors, world of the worlds, epidemia, uh, Kingsman, actually two Kingsman, I will make a review a bit later, is only coincidence. Or maybe it's a kind of hint. What do you think about it, guys? Is there any connection of this predictive programming movies and what we have nowadays with this coronavirus bullshit? I need your opinion, really. What do you think about all of this? Tell me that it's my paranoia, guys. I need it. Thank you for your attention. Bye.